Ah, uh, yes, isn't it always the sweet and innocent looking ones? And she's a teacher, too. We're uh, over in Newton County, Georgia. A woman who was reportedly employed by the Social Circle City Schools was recently arrested for enticing a child for indecent purposes, as well as child molestation, uh, of which both are felonies. The Newton County Sheriff's Office has identified the woman as Mary Elizabeth Gaddis. According to the incident report, the Sheriff's Office was contacted on March 15th by someone at the Social Circle High School. Gaddis was arrested on March 18th. Uh, she's since bonded out of jail. There isn't really any more information about what led to the arrest. Or the sheriffs really didn't provide anything, but you can be sure that when we find out, you will find out right here on the Sex Offender Hit List. See ya, Chomet. Last week, the Larimer County Sheriff's Office investigators conducted an operation targeting child predators. Investigators posed as underage sex workers in online forums and were contacted by dozens of men soliciting services. Well, we got one of them here. This man arrived in an agreed upon location where he was met by law enforcement. This chomo was Daniel Goodfield, date of birth 12 87 He was arrested on the following charges. Patronizing a prostituted child, soliciting for child prostitution, soliciting attempt, and uh, he was booked into the Larimer County Jail and issued a $20,000 cash surety bond by the Larimer County Court. And uh, we got the booking photo here from that, uh, that crime. Protecting children is our highest priority in public safety, said Sheriff John Fayen. Abusing or exploiting innocent victims is never acceptable. The LSCO will always stand between children and those who want to harm them. See ya, Chomo! Over to Mississippi, an 18-year-old Purvis man was arrested Wednesday morning, this morning, on five charges related to sex acts involving a child less than 16. Ricky Wyatt Jenkins was arrested and charged with two counts of child exploitation, one count of touching for lustful purposes, one count of sexual battery, and one count of filming a child under 16. The allegations stem from one young teenage victim who investigators said Jenkins was familiar with. Jenkins is being held at the Lamar County Jail awaiting his first appearance the investigation is still ongoing. In my search for a mugshot for Miguel Rivera, uh, another child predator in the news here tonight, I came across this Miguel Rivera, not the same one. This story is not only sickening and sad, but it's an extreme tragedy. This Miguel Rivera is indicted for murder and rape in the death of his 11-year-old great-niece, Precious Wallace's. An Essex County grand jury uh, today returned indictments against this Miguel Rivera for first-degree murder, rape of a child with force, rape of a child aggravated by age difference, indecent assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, and distributing a Class E substance to a minor. That substance was fentanyl, and that was used to drug the child so he could rape her. And when he did drug her, he overdosed her with it and she died. Uh, if anybody deserves a death penalty, it's this sick son of a gun right here. It's an evil excuse for a human. Rivera is being currently held without bail. He will be arraigned in Superior Court at a later date. Set over to Texas here. This guy doesn't look too happy. Well, I wouldn't be too happy either if I got arrested for being a chomo. Uh, this guy's from Abilene. He's accused of sexually assaulting a child, and he's been arrested. This is Lucas Garcia. He was taken into custody on a warrant for aggravated sexual assault of a child Tuesday, in connection to those allegations. Court documents state Garcia is accused of sexually abusing a child under the age of 12 back in August of 2016. 
Well, you got caught, didn't you? But, uh, he was released from jail after he posted a $50,000 bond. And, of course, no further information's been released about this guy. But be sure when it does, you'll find it here first on the Sex Offender Hit List. Let's head over to Georgia. A homeless man was arrested March 15th after allegedly touching himself in front of children at Burger King in Oakwood. The Oakwood police said several customers observed Isaiah Martinez, a 20-year-old, and another young one, expose his penis and started touching himself in front of several children. Officers responded at around 4.35 p.m. to the business at uh, 3703 Mundy Mill Road. And based on a description given by the 911 caller, officers located Martinez walking behind the Burger King and they detained him at that location. Martinez was criminally trespassed from the Burger King, of course. We don't want nobody grabbing their junk when we're trying to eat our burgers. Officers placed Martinez under arrest for public indecency and child molestation. That, of course, pertains to the suspect masturbating in front of a child. Officials said no child was physically assaulted during the incident. Still bad enough. Martinez had an active arrest warrant through the Hall County Sheriff's Office for an unrelated drug court violation. Wonder who broke his nose. Set over to New Bloomfield. A Miller County man was arrested in February this year for the possession of child sexual abuse materials. This is 20-year-old Dylan Ash. Had a rash of young pedos lately, haven't we? Uh, this guy is from St. Elizabeth. He began being investigated back in September of last year. The Miller County Sheriffs had received a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children that child sexual abuse materials were being shared through Ash's X account. Multiple search warrants were obtained in January of this year for his residence and his electronics, which were uh, then sent to the Missouri Digital Forensic Center. They were able to confirm in February that Ash's devices contained thousands of child sexual abuse material of minors under 10 years old. He was charged on Tuesday, March 19th of this year, that's yesterday, with a Class B felony possession of child sexual abuse material. He's being held in Miller County Adult Detention Center with a $50,000 bond. Young ass chomos lately, huh? Henderson, Kentucky. A bird's eye man was arrested on Wednesday after authorities say he uploaded child sexual abuse material to the internet. The Jasper police say they received a cyber tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children about a home in the 2400 block of Kings Ridge Road about the illegal uploads. A search warrant was then executed and investigators found uh, and took Charles Jacob Allen DeWitt, a 22-year-old, into custody on charges of possession of child sexual abuse material. DeWitt is being lodged in the Du Bois County Jail without bond the way that it should be. Ava, Missouri. The Douglas County Sheriff's Department recently arrested an Ava man uh, March 18th on felony charges of promoting and possession of child sexual abuse material. This arrest was made as a part of an in-depth and lengthy investigation that involved not just the Douglas County Sheriff's Department, but the Ava Police Department and the Ozark County Sheriff's Department and the Southwest Cybercrimes Task Force. 48-year-old Larry Dean Morrison of Ava has been arrested on felony charges of first-degree promoting of child sexual abuse material and second-degree possession of child sexual abuse material. While not an exact amount of content was listed, it states that numerous electronic devices were seized as a result of the search warrant and have been sent off for digital forensic investigation. And you know they're going to find a lot of stuff on this creepy looking mug. See ya, Chomo! Beaumont, Texas. 
a sick story here. A babysitter and her friend were both arrested Tuesday, March 19th, after the Beaumont Police Department received reports of the sexual abuse of three children between the ages of 7 and 10 years old. The police launched an investigation after they received reports back in January, as well as an additional report about a 9-year-old in February. Investigation revealed that Patricia Elgin was running a babysitting service out of her home in the 1300 block of Live Oak, and during this time, she was looking after up to about 12 kids while she allowed this chomo, 51-year-old Troy Howard, who was a registered sex offender, to live there and have full access to the children since December. Several of those kids had made outcries to Elgin numerous times uh, about sexual abuse perpetuated by Howard, but sadly, of course, they fell on deaf ears. She didn't care. She just wanted his money and whatever else he could give her. So instead, uh, uh, Elgin allegedly told the kids to keep quiet and chose not to report the abuse to the police. She also reportedly let Howard continue to live in her home and gave him full access to the kids for months after the first report was made. Uh, during their investigation, the police found that Howard was in violation of his sex offender registry and they were able to put out a warrant like instantly and quickly arrest him. Um, they interviewed him on about March 5th and then on March 19th, the uh, special crimes detectives obtained another warrant, this time on both Howard and Elgin, for two counts of aggravated sexual assault of a child and, uh, let's see here, three counts of indecency with a child. Howard was still in jail at this time and uh, Elgin was arrested by detectives at her home. Detectives believe there are maybe more victims out there that haven't been identified, so this investigation is still ongoing and of course more charges are more than likely to be filed. Unreal. See ya, Chomo, Chomet. One for a rainbow, one for Amanda. Who are you playing with, sweetie? Amanda. Huh? Oh, who are you? I'm Amanda. I'm six. And I love unicorns. Sexual predators are seeking kids online. <laughs> We don't know a man. I'm going to put you in the first team. Are we together or not together? Answer me. We're together.